buttons. Aren't they so beautiful? And perfect for jewelry making projects. In this video I will be using plastic buttons without holes. In my first project these cool silver and black buttons. But in my future video I'm planning on using buttons with holes because there is a lot you can do with them too. So since these buttons are plastic it's easy to cut the back with wire cutters and right now I'm using 10 centimeters of 20 gauge silver plated copper wire. I'm making a loop on one end and then adding a silver bead. To keep the bead in place I'm bending the wire. Next I'm going to make another loop which will be then turned into a spiral. Then I measured the spiral against my button and since it was a perfect fit I finished it with a loop. And I had to do a few small adjustments like bend the top forward a bit so that the bead sits nicely on the top of the button. And also reduce the gap between the wire and the button which wasn't necessary but still I wanted to do that. Oh and did I mention I used blue tack to hold it in place? But now we need to glue it properly and let it dry overnight. Once dry I finished the earrings with these silver wings, they were from my old earrings I was no longer wearing and added stainless steel earring hooks to finish the look. Time to rock these earrings and I personally think they look awesome. And now it's time to make these little earrings a little friend. Okay, so I made a large loop, wrapped the wire around and then pressed one side of the loop with chain nose pliers to create a bezel. This is gonna be a necklace to match my earrings and I used 15 centimeters of wire, but I would recommend 20 centimeters instead since my spiral for this larger button was too small. But honestly, it depends on the size of your button. How many times am I gonna say button in this video? The rest of the process was pretty much the same as with the earrings. Oh, I also colored the exposed plastic with silver acrylic paint pen, just because I had it lying right next to me. But you can use gold or silver nail polish or whatever you have at home. If you use paint then it will need a coat of varnish to seal it. Then stick on your button. <laughs> So this is an earring and I decided to shape the fitting around the button before I stuck it on. You can see I finished it with a small loop but later on I cut it off because well I just changed my mind. I stuck some flat back crystals on this one and it turned out so pretty. This next one is a stud earring and I followed my old tutorial except there was no bead in the middle. We'll link it for you in the description box if you want to watch it. And I used a red button which I painted with white nail varnish and a dotting tool. Here is another earring, I simply made a spiral first and I finished the rest into an earring hook. And oh boy, do I love this one, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
another stud this time with a little loop. I added a small red pearlescent button and this gorgeous cubic zirconia charm. I have this in my shop, by the way. <laughs> and it is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And look at this next one. Okay, the back still needs some paint, but it's so nice, especially with this Swarovski teardrop pendant. This stud was just like the previous two following my previous tutorial, but then I finished it with another spiral. Like there are so many options when it comes to wire jewelry. This time I wanted some more sparkle, you know me right? And so I stuck a square crystal to the gold button and a small round flat back crystal to the second spiral. And as for the ring lovers, including me, I made a few using buttons too. This is one I made a long time ago and the base is again done using my older tutorial and again I shall link it below. This skull ring is so cool and the base is the same as the previous one, only I left the ends longer and wrapped them around my ring mandrel twice, then finished with loops. And the next two rings are made following another ring tutorial. Again, it's linked below. I stuck a small flat back crystal on my lips. <laughs> and loads and loads of crystals on this silver button. So pretty. And here is a short footage to show you how professionally I made these rings. I'm basically just gluing the buttons on. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, have a lovely day and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Buttons, 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 buttons,